Hello, hello, and welcome to the Train Buddy Shop. We got something for you today. Look at this. Uh, what is it we're doing? Oh, we're going to do a uh, Sperry rail car. Now, this is, this is solid, so there's no way we're going to do that. But we found, we found, the customer found, right, a, where's the, the there it is, the vision. Uh, found this uh, high reel inspection vehicle. Well, it's metal. It's a piece of metal. And so you can see it all out here on the desk. We put together this part, which is the shell, and we're going to use that shell along with a Tommy Tech. Tommy Tech makes a, uh, makes a motor and a, a gear set, and we've taken it all apart here. We're gonna, about ready to put it back together again. But before we do that, I wanted to talk to you about how we, how we're, we're going to separate the motor from the, from the pickups. This thing was so close together here that, um, that the, the pickups and the motor were put together with these little clips. Um, so we've taken the clips out and we're going to go directly to the wheels. And so the wheels have got these little um, pickups, and that pickup then will sit inside of here like this, and will touch the two sides of the wheels, right? And that picks up on the one side, on the other side, and then it's going to come up through this frame. So I'm going to do all of this and, and come back in just a moment and show you how all this is put back together again. But the red and red and black coming up through here, which is the right rail and left rail, okay. And then it's coming up to the motor, and then the motor has got the gray and gray and uh, um, uh, orange on there. And we've already checked to make sure that the orange turns the the motor in the right direction to make this setup go forward. All right. Then all of that's going to fit inside of this shell this metal shell. So we've got a challenge in front of us to get all that in there. Oh, and then there's the decoder. Yes, I know. Yeah, so this is the decoder we're using. Okay, it's a 21 pin. This particular one is by, uh, that's not it. Uh, this one's by Digitrax. All right, so this is a Digitrax DZ, DZ126IN decoder. All right, that's the decoder right there. So we're going to use that in this model, and uh, we're going to wire the pins. And so we'll talk about that in a little bit, okay? And we'll be right back as soon as I get all this put together, and we'll we'll show you where we are. All right, so here we are. We've put the, I guess, the chassis together. Right there's the wheels. And we've gone ahead and put the, the wires on the pickups right off the sides of the wheels and put this chassis together. Now the next part of this now is to put the motor in, right? But we've got some other pieces that have to go in there. There's a, there's a piece that goes underneath all of that, a, a, a cradle, if you will, a motor cradle. And so that motor cradle will snap into will snap into this and then that will snap into the chassis. So we'll get back to that in just a second. Now notice the wires are there and this decoder we're going to try to fit right there and uh, set all those wires up. Um, and then all of that has to fit inside of this. So we got plenty of room, he says. Well, okay, so we've got this together and we've tested it and it tests good so we've got the orange and gray and it's isolated from the red and black here's our decoder now the problem that we've got with with this shell right is first of all the shell is all metal uh oh so we can't really have the decoder well we can't have the decoder blank like this we have to we're going to have to uh, put some tape on it one way or another to put it in there. Uh, the other thing that we need to do then is make sure that it fits so there's not a lot of room left, especially when we have the weight in there. We can't put it up on top, so our original thought was 
was to go like like this, right? So you can see like that or like this, right? Where we're straight across the top. Um, because again, this sits proud of this top piece, which goes right up against the roof. So we tried a couple different tape options, and even with it like that, it still shows through the cab at the top, and matter of fact, sticks out through the through the front. So um, option number two, then, since we're, again not a lot of room, right, is to put this down in front, like. Let me get the right pins, right? So this is pin pin one. You can see the one right there on the pin. So pin one goes where on orange. And you say, how do I know that? Well, it's in the book, right? So it's right there. Okay. So pin one to orange. And so with pin one to orange, we're going to put it down. Oop, let me make sure again. Let me look at it. Pin pin one, that's a one right there, right, to orange. So this goes in the front like this. Okay, and put it right like that. Now, the issue is going to be, well, there's a couple of issues. First of all, we're gonna to have to cut all these pins off because the pins now are too high, okay? But that's not a problem because we got plenty of, plenty of pins to solder to. Then the other thing is, this is kind of, is it going to fit there like that? I think it will. There's a little ledge, can't really see it very well, but there's a little ledge in the plastic right here. And is it going to be affected by the motor? Well, no, even though this is turning gear here, this is turning, but it's there's a distance between this and that, probably maybe 20, 30 thousandths. So we've got plenty of room, 20, 30 thousandths, tons of room. All right, so let's do that, and we'll come back. Okay, so we got everything wired up. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I lost it there for a second. There it is. It's all wired up, and we're testing it out. There it goes. And reverse. Now the only thing we have to do is put, oh, the lights in. Mm-mm-mm. All right, be back after we do that. Now we're gonna put the top on. We have to insulate the top of the decoder so this doesn't uh, uh, catch fire on the on the top of the metal surface. Uh, we've got two more pins left, and we notice we've taken the pins off, right? Because it was easier to solder to the to the decoder directly. Not something that uh, for the faint of heart, but uh, we did it, and. Uh, I say we, Royce has been helping me, Royce Lacey. So we're going to be done here in just a little bit. I'm so excited. And then we're going to have to paint and do a whole bunch of other stuff. But this is the hard part. All right, all right. So I uh, had just a few minutes here um, as I was putting this uh, this unit together, the Sperry unit. And just wanted to show you where I was and, and uh, what the situation is. This is the metal kit metal casting kit right and so it's got a lot of a lot of voids in the side um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use um, use squadron putty now there's other companies that have that make this but this is uh, typical for doing this kind of thing uh, we're going to use squadron putty and fill the gaps so I'm going to go uh, uh, go away from this for for a little bit my plan is, you see where I've drilled out the holes, and I made sure that these were uh, 7 inches, which is 0 .034 something, uh, in uh, end scale, because it's an end scale engine, so I drilled those out to be exact. Uh, we're going to put uh, some, some of the um, um, clear parts cement, right, and use some of that in, the, uh, in those holes to make the the lenses. Um, we're going to. Uh, the plan is to uh, to do something with the windows. Maybe in the back we'll do clear. Uh, we can't do it in the front uh, because if you look at the look at the way this is situated, um, this uh, the the circuitry and everything shows through the window. And so what we're going to do is put 
Now, the plan is to put uh, put black paper in there, right? Uh, we may still do a glass in the windows. We'll see how that works. Um, yeah, but the, we got to we got to black this out. Now I was going to paint this black, but you'd still see all of the wires and everything in there. Uh, and then for the headlights, we're going to put those. Uh, going to use uh, these the uh, micro LEDs. Um, going to use those, and we're going to put them in like about like that. Um, I'm actually going to put them on the base. I'm not going to try to attach them here because then you got wires and all kinds of stuff going. Because when you put it back up in here, this base is fairly stable and it should show right through there. So, be back. Alright, so I tried some of the green squadron putty and uh, it didn't do what I wanted to do mainly because it was old. Um, so, we're going to use some of this new stuff uh, to me as putty and it comes in both a gray and a white. I'm going to use white um, on this particular one and uh, be right back when I get that cleaned up. Alrighty then, quite a bit has happened since uh, the last video. Um, if, you'll, if you look close you can see that this has got wheels and wheels so we blackened the the wheels underneath it so that they kind of disappear and the uh, the other wheels which are the the ones uh, that would be the tires right um, they show and when I put the top on uh, you'll, you'll get a better idea of what's going on but right now we're looking at mechanicals right and uh, so this is not addressed anything yet we haven't given a number but just to show you that it's but it's working fine, right? Everything's working hunky dory, and the surprise lights. We're going to have lights in this thing. So the lights are there and they're on. And uh, now we just have to position them right so they come out the front like they're supposed to. And we'll be in good shape. So let's, uh, let's come back over to the bench and let's look at. Uh, Look at what we're doing with the with the top piece. So here's the here's the top piece. Yeah, looking pretty good. It's got some got some rough spots on it, but uh, all in all, not bad if you consider the size of it. Uh, I'm gonna get away here when you look and you see how how small that really is, right? Get a close up picture of it, and uh, we're gonna try to relate that to the picture, right? So. Where's the picture? Hmm. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Uh, not quite sure where, but doesn't matter. Oh, here it is. Found it. Okay. So here's the picture. Let's see if we can get it all in there. Huh? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Huh? All right. We got a couple of. Uh, I see a couple of windows that we probably needed to add. That that one right there, and the one in the back. Um, other than that, uh, looks pretty good. So we're going to light this baby up and uh, we'll be ready to go. See, we got, got windows on the front, right? we got shiny windows. Whoop, cover it over. Got shiny windows on the side and on the back. And uh, we're going to put some more wheels underneath the platform right there. Um, and we'll be ready to go and put that on the top. Huh? All right, be back in just a little bit to show you the end result here. Okay, so the glue's not even dry yet, but I couldn't wait to show you the finished product. A little rough around the edges, the paint is. Not quite sure why. This is now SRS 863. And if you notice, there's should be some lights in the front. No, oh, there's a light. Yeah, the other light doesn't come on too well, but not too bad. So 
So besides showing you it running and showing you the, the, the lights, let's see, I wanted to, uh, yeah, there's no lights. Oh, they're there. Yeah, forward. Yeah, so I don't know, not quite sure what's going on with the right hand light. It is on, but it's real dim. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, I've set it up for um, for switching mode, and part of the issue with any of these smaller vehicles is the the actual um, amount of surface that they have to pick up uh, electricity on. I wanted to also pick it up and kind of show you the underside. It's hard to see here, right? So we simulated the the, the little um, dolly in the back and in the front wheels, right? Also, because you can't read the number, well, you can read the number if you get really close to it. Uh, there it is, SRS 863, but it, when it's, you can see my thumb, it's, it's pretty small. So what I did was I put a big bold in the back where you can kind of read it, 863, underneath it. The two little uh, bumps that are shown right underneath there look kind of kludgy. Those are actually the resistors, the bottom of the resistors that were used for the lights. That's the only place I had to put them. Yeah. So looking around, looking around. Not too bad. If I had anything uh, else that I wanted to do on it, it would be to, um, to blacken the doors. There. The doors are actually open. So you can see them here and there, right, on the other side. Um, and so I might might do that. Uh, that's about it. Uh, the, the black on the wheels uh, came off a little bit, um, partially because of the, I didn't rough up the, uh, the wheels, but uh, that would be something else that uh, we could possibly do if it continues to come off. But uh, hides it pretty well, I think. So not not too bad, not too bad. Awful, awful high off. But when you're looking at it from up here, you can't really tell. So uh, so here again, you know this pretty pretty cool. You can see my hand. You can see how small this particular uh, thing is. Oop! Almost ran it off. Yeah. Yeah? All right, well, that's the end of this project, and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.